What's up, guys? Welcome back to Trading with Emotions. I've been sick. All right, that's why there's no no videos because I've been sick. But I'm back. We're doing it. Happy holidays, and let's get back to it because uh, it's getting interesting from here on out with the current catalyst we just uh, got last week. All right, so reverse split. Uh, apes coming back. Apes coming back to AMC. Something else we'll talk about here. But basically what I'm going to be doing is we're going to compare some stocks that have um, have done something similar in the past. So last year I'm going to be talking about two two major stocks that have done this and what my thoughts are and, and how I'm going to prepare for this. Because basically what I think is happening is this is... This is the only time where AMC could potentially squeeze. Um, I don't think there will be another another catalyst, at least in the short term, that we could see where uh, the price can potentially go to crazy, crazy levels. So I'll talk about why I think this is this is the case. Um, so let's get to it. All right. So we got Amy here. Uh, I'm going to pull up the cycle. Because the cycle is relevant here. We know that the current point of interest here that we had was inverse. Okay, so we have seen this happen before, but the big thing to consider here is not direction, uh, is volatility. And and I said this very clear on this POI that the last two have been inverse, unfortunately. And we have experienced inverse POIs many times before. But we know that with volume, this is where I pull up the PFV indicator, there's always lots of volume coming in here on the points of interest which this is a very small window it's it's about a two week window every 62 days and that is when we experience this volatility so it's clear it's there we can't argue that that's like a thing happening here with amc um, and i think it's going to continue to happen okay and we know that the next poi here so the next volatility zone okay, is likely to um, happen here in february Okay, so now with that in mind, this is where we're going to talk about the other two stocks that I think are relevant here. And I'm going to pull up a different chart. Okay, so here's AMC. So the other two stocks are uh, MMAT. Okay, so this had a rally here a couple of weeks ago. Um, very, you know, talked about here in, in, the, uh, in the markets, especially with the meme, the meme community. Uh, Reddit. We also have GREE. So both of these stocks had reverse splits last year. And prior to the splits, MMAT, so this used to be Torchlight, if you guys remember, TRCH. Okay. One stock here. Our other stock used to be SPRT. So this was also a very known stock in the community. And these two were squeeze plays. Um, again, if you guys remember what happened with these, there was a lot of different uh, situations that occurred prior to the split, a lot of hype on these stocks, and both of these had squeezes prior to the split. So you can see here we have a split, uh, one for two, on June 28th of 2021. You can see here the price went from lows here, the high low, we had a 750% rally prior to the split, okay? SPRT, so GREE now had a, a bigger run, had a, almost a 2,000% uh, rally here, okay? And this split was a little different, 23, 200. This was also a merger, so we did have part of SPRT uh, merge with what was GREE, uh, and, and then that got converted here. Now, something to note and, and consider here is after the rally, you have this massive pump followed by a massive dump. And this is what I want to get to with AMC because um, not only comparing these these two different meme stocks as, as reference here for AMC and what could potentially happen, but we've seen time and time again AMC pump and dump. And that's known. That's part of this play. Why I think this is going to be the last opportunity here for AMC and potentially the last time we could see a, a squeeze is for two reasons. So we have the, the option chain being one of those. Um, we know here that with cycle analysis, we take a look at uh, the option chain is one of the most important things. I think it's how they manipulate the price, drive the price, uh, these hedge funds that are doing this. Um, 
And basically, the whole thing here is these two, prior to the splits, it took about 150 days. All right, so let's pull the little time frame here. Date range. So we're going to take a look at the first pump here. So there's the pump. It dumps, and then it creates this, like, cup sort of formation, which we have on both, right? And these uh, last about 130 days. This one down here was 150, almost 160, 160. AMC is a little different here. From the dump, we're at 130 30 days, okay? Which also goes with the, uh, the four-month cycle we talked about being outside that zone. 160 days here, about 170 days, would give us the POI here late January going into February, which again, goes with cycle analysis. We know that that is a point of interest where we could potentially see the price rally, right? Could also dump, but it's likely here we would see a rally based on the, the current news, which is a reverse split, is normally not bullish, but it is bullish before it takes place. Um, okay, so let's also go over, uh, so we talked about the option chain, right? The option chain is a big way these guys are hedging those positions. So this is where I'm going to go back to AMC's chart here. And we're going to pull up AMC plus APE here. Because remember, these are merging now. I have AMC plus APE's chart because we coded this. And this is AMC's true price. It's the original price. You can see here the all-time highs we have on AMC, 72 on moving average. Okay, we take away the PFV indicator. And then this is where I can pull up the support parallel and volatility zone because these are scaled. Okay, so the fact that this chart is scaled, I can see the lines, I can see the parallel channel lines here very clearly. Compared to AMC, you won't be able to scale them properly because the chart is not scaled. All right, so let's take AMC away. AMC plus save. Okay, so here's my, my other theory why I believe this is going to happen. I posted this on Twitter the other day and we're paying attention to this right here. So this is where we fell outside what is called the support zone. We have the parallel zone and then the volatility zone. So these are all very unique. And we normally, the, the one that's the most unique is going to be the parallel zone because that's the one that we gravitate back into every single year. So here we spend 120 days before falling out. Here we spent 120 days before falling out. 120 days before falling out and then you have a pattern right if there's a pattern here what we do in the in the, with this specific analysis is cycle analysis is exactly this one two three hedging it's clear hedging in the option chain what happens when you hedge for a position especially leaps you have to come back to that price every single year especially if you're over leveraged on a position okay so one two three there's a rep, uh, repetition here we would come back into this zone right around uh, February. It'd be a year apart here. We come back here in January, end of January. Here's end of January. And then here we started uh, late February. So a little bit different because of the COVID correction, but that is where it all started. Okay. So one of the reference patterns I used was this one here. It goes with the pattern analysis. We have our little run here when we were where outside of the support zone which we have not been there before it's been 91 days that we've been outside of this zone okay you can almost see the patterns look the same here they look basically identical and where do we gravitate back into here right we come back into that parallel zone which is very important so think about it this way if this is true which it looks very promising if we were to rally here and these guys were just releasing all the shorts, they think that this is a comfortable price to just start covering shares. Um, this is what this is where it comes into this whole option. And then it ties into this uh, psychological perspective sort of deal here. How are we going to deal with retail? Well, this is what the media, I think, is going to push out, which is pretty crazy. But we come back here. Again, these rallied about... 800% and then 2,000% uh, support.com and then Torchlight, which is now MMAT. Okay, pretty massive rallies. If AMC did something similar, 
say that from this price range, it rallies all the way up here, about 700%, potentially even more, 45. You have to remember that this thing can clock over and it's only going to show the moving average. But based on this volatility zone, we come back down very quickly. And if we're trying to shut this rally down and come back into the parallel zone, two things are going to happen here. We rally that much and then the reverse split takes place, what would happen? Well, the price would go from 40, since it's a 1 for 10, would go all the way up to 400. So we would open up, say we open up that day or whatever at 400 because the reverse split takes place. Now the media can push out that AMC opened at 400, and then people, from a, again, from a psychological perspective, would probably take profits. Even though the price is not there, I think the majority of retail wouldn't, uh, necessarily no, because again, a lot of these things are are, are just misinterpret misinterpreted in the community, and they're not uh, widely known how reverse split work, if they're bullish or not, and uh, the media doesn't really care. I mean, they they the price will very likely open up, uh, even with the percentage not adjusted based on the split. A lot of stocks open up that way, and it's not something that they uh, again. That, that they make very clear. There's there's some mis misinformation, in my opinion. Okay? Something to note. But I think this is probably what's going to happen, and I'm not going to be risking um, any, potential, uh, any potential profits here, especially if this is what cycle analysis is calling for. Again, not saying that we can't go higher. This is technically a zone in which the cycle can break, and if the cycle breaks, this thing can go higher. I'm not going to get into that, but I think just based on technical analysis, cycle analysis, this is a more real realistic scenario. And, and I'm going to go based on this setup that we've seen before. Now, something else that we, that we can consider here is that if this were to happen, we come back up here, we go to 40, and then we get shut down very quickly, that this could be the first step to a continuation on this on this rally, right? So this could be that first leg up. It could be a macro projector pattern. We come back into the parallel zone and then we go back up on the next point of interest. That's also a possibility. But I'm just going based off of the, this next POI here, right? We're not gonna uh, talk about what's going to potentially happen after this. We're just gonna focus on the, on the current time, right? The current setup, which is, in my opinion, very bullish. We've already seen these two reverse splits. Okay, and prior to them, both of them pump and dumps. Okay. All right. I'm trying to make this a, a very short video. Didn't want to cross the line here. So we'll leave it here and I'll come and update you guys next week. I know it is the holiday, so it's gonna be a little harder to do that. But I hope this this video clarifies some of these some of these questions uh, coming out again. I've been sick, so I've not been able to make videos. Uh, but I hope I hope this clarifies some of that stuff. All right, leave it there. I hope you guys have a great rest of your holidays, man. Happy New Year's, you guys! All take care. I fucking love you. Bye bye.